fellas. Are you been out there wondering what products to use for the comb to shave your hair? Or first time fellas who are in the process of shaving their hair? You don't know what products to use yourself or what to even start to shave your hair. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to shave your hair and what products I currently use to keep my head looking like a boss. Hey guys, it's your bearded consumer, AKA every grandmother's favorite grandson. Coming to you guys again with another video. This time it's gonna be a how-to video on how to shave your head and what products that I'm currently using to help me with the shaving process. Uh, the products that I'm gonna be using is gonna be the Cantu's Men's Collection uh, three-step shaving process. Um, this is a Cantu, recently came out with the Men's Collection um, men specific gear products. So they have a uh, beer oil shaving products, of course. Uh, and I've been using this for maybe roughly about three months and I like the results. So I decided to share you guys, to share with you guys uh, the benefits of these actual products. All right, for me, the way I normally shave my head, I normally shave my head um, once or twice a week, um, depending on what I have to do. Um, before I actually put a razor to my head, I do use some wall clippers. I'll leave in the description box the actual model number um, of those, um, but I just shave to actually get the long hairs. Once I do that, I tend to hop in the shower. While I'm in the shower, I use the first step of the Cantu Men shaving products. Uh, the first step is gonna be the cleansing pre-shaving scrub. Um, and what this does, it fights ingrown hairs and exfoliate the skin. That way before you actually shave your head, you can cleanse the surface. Just in case if you do nick yourself, you don't get any uh, infections or anything like that because we tend to sweat on our head. Um, so what's inside of here, I'm not gonna go into super detail about what's inside of here, but the main ingredients is gonna be caffeine, hemp seed oil, willow bark, shea butter, uh, and tea tree oil. Um, so it's a white substance like that. Um, so normally what I do is I use it in the shower. Uh, it says it's recommended to uh, scrub it in your hands. Just basically rub it in your hair for about a minute, rinse, pack dry. I've already did that. Um, but the benefits of the product is uh, the willow bark scrub in fights ingrown hairs and tea tree oil help reduce irritation. And that is my daughter in the background. So the willow bark scrub fights ingrown hairs and tea tree oil uh, and helps reduce uh, irritation. Uh, the shea butter and the hemp seed oil are gonna deeply moisturize uh, and nourish the dry skin and the caffeine in it, which I think I forgot, uh, helps tighten the pores and reduce uh, the redness. This step I already used prior to turning the camera on. So, once I get out, I hit him with step two, which is the smooth shaving gel. Uh, fights against razor bump. Uh, this essentially has somewhat of the same ingredients inside. It's gonna be caffeine, hemp seed oil, and willow bark. Um, the smell of both of these doesn't have like a, a fragrant scent. Um, all the products I actually smell except willow bark. Um, so I'm assuming that's what the dominant scent is. Other than that, it doesn't have like a medicated scent or anything like that. Um, also this um, is clear, which I like. I don't like the foamy stuff. That way I can actually see what areas over my head that I went over and what I didn't go over. Um, so the willow bark fights against razor bumps. Uh, the shea butter and hemp seed oil deeply nourish and moisturize the skin. And the caffeine helps tighten the pores and reduce the redness. Once I'm done with that, I bust them down and finish it with step three. Uh, step three is gonna be the post-shaving uh, soothing serum. Um, it helps moisturize and calm the skin. Uh, this one has caffeine, uh, hemp seed oil, ginseng, shea butter, 
and um, a little bit of menthol. Uh, the menthol provides you with a cooling agent, um, which helps with if you do have some shaving burn, uh, some sort, you have a nice uh, cooling sensation, which I actually like for my shaving products, the finishing product to have some type of cooling agent in it. Uh, but the ginseng uh, fights razor burns. Uh, it's also tea tree oil and that helps against um, irritation. Uh, the shea butter and hemp seed oil, deeply moisturize, calm and protect the skin. And the caffeine helps tighten pores and reduce redness. Once I'm finished with that, um, depending on what look I'm going for, if I'm going for like the shiny milk dud look, I might bust it down, use a little bit of beer oil, just a drop or two and rub that in. If not, once you post the, the post shaving cream, you're good to go. And that's it. Um, so I'm just gonna do a quick shaving thing. I'm gonna fast forward it. The razor I'm gonna be using is gonna be the Dollar Shave Club executive handle with the five blades. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be another doing another video comparing the Dollar Shave Club and another subscription service, which is Harry's um, Blade. So stay tuned for that video that'll be coming up soon. So essentially just say, I already got out of the shower. So I'm gonna bust it down and hit it with the shaving gel. So it depends on the size of your noggin that you have um, on how much you actually use. Some people say pea size drop, it all depends. Now, mind you, which I didn't give a disclaimer, these tips and recommendations are based off of what works for me. Everybody's different. Everything doesn't work for everybody. This is what works for me. So, so I tend to use that much, about a 50 cent piece. Rub it in. Wipe the hands off, and then I get the shaving. Uh, the method that I use, I find that works best for me, is to actually go with the grain. Um, I know some people go against the grain, some people say you're not supposed to go against the grain, whatever the case may be. Uh, this is the method that best works for me. When I go against the actual grain, I tend to get tons of razor bumps. So that's the reason why I do not go with the grain. This method that I use, uh, does give me smooth baby bottom bald head. So it's what works for me. So the way I shave my head on top, I go forward for the top half of the side, I go forward, the bottom half, I go down, and in the back, I shave directly down. I tend to try to keep the blade on my head. I use one continuous stroke when I'm coming forward or going down, whatever the case may be. That way, I found that if you do the method that you see people do on TV, the, the back and forth, for me, it creates irritation. I'm likely to get some type of razor burn or bump. So I tend to just use uh, one continuous motion and that gets the job done. Now, with magic, I'm gonna fast forward this up because you guys really don't wanna see me shave. But this is gonna be a quick thing for you guys. Now, because I'm rushing, which I normally don't do, I tend that to press down hard um, due to the simple fact these blades are fairly sharp. What you tend to do is you cut yourself. Now, uh, what I tend to do is I normally do two to three swipes on my head before I go back and rinse my blade off. 
um, with that shaving gel. Um, it does tend to sometimes uh, get in between the blades and the blade doesn't slide across your head like it should. So that's why I do two to three swipes before I go back and rinse my blade. Now, that's pretty much it. Now when I just go back, fill any spots that I might have missed. Didn't miss any. So what I'm gonna do, I'm get a rag. And I just pat off the remaining and wipe off the remaining of the gel. And the reason why I pat and you don't wanna really wanna wipe off all of those properties that are inside the shaving gel, you wanna actually wanna wipe away. So I tend to pat away. Pat, um, any access left. Boom. Now that I'm done, hit it with step three, the post shaving. Yeah, I gotta take my glasses off for this part. It comes out like that. And that's about the most that I actually use. Rub it in. Boom. Just like that, we're done. I like these products, like I said, I'm gonna use them for a month, get awesome results. So if you guys been looking for some products that you wanna try out or new to the shaving, I'm gonna try out the men's collection. Like I said, you can get all these products uh, from Sally's or Walgreens and the price point for these are excellent. They're under five bucks, correct? Under five bucks, they're like 4.98 or something like that on Walgreens uh, website. Bunch of other brands, they're gonna be $9, or almost $10 or more. Um, so the price point for these are excellent. In the comment section below, what are some shaving products or tips that you guys are currently using that helps with your shaving experience? Like always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, be the someone who makes you happy.